Livestock auction barns have seen increased cattle numbers in recent weeks with the continuing drought. North Central North Dakota has had some of the region's worst conditions. Michael Pates visited with a producer there who fears he may have to liquidate some of his herd if they don't get relief soon. In our pastures, low spots are green, high spots, they look like a summer fallow field. They're just brown and it's not a pretty sight. Kevin and Carol Friddle were a young married couple just getting started with their family farming the last time they saw conditions this dry. You know, in 88, we had enough moisture to get our crop started. It just didn't do anything after that. But this year, we can't even get our crop started. It's just so dry, it won't, we can't even get it to come out of the ground. The Frittles have a commercial Angus Simital cow-calf herd of about 170 cows. They usually keep cows into the fall and background feed them for marketing in February or March, but this year they were critically short on hay and buying feed may be prohibitively expensive. The dryness, the worrying about fires and the crops and the cattle, and I mean it's all, it's worrisome. They also raise canola, pinto beans, soybeans and wheat on about 1,800 acres. Worst case scenario, we're going to have a half a crop, a partial crop, and it'll be just enough to where we won't be able to collect crop insurance. I mean, that'll be just a, a wreck. Kevin says even regular rains might not help much at this point, but he hopes it doesn't mean he has to make a major change to his operation. I want to keep my animals, but I don't know if I can or should. In Knox, North Dakota, this is Michael Pates for Ag Week. Thanks for watching Ag Week on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We post new videos every Saturday.